Guyana's development expands beyond infrastructure, petroleum and food production, with three telecommunications services dominating the market. Chairperson of the Public Utilities Commission, PUC, Dila Britton, in an interview with the newsroom, described the number portability system as a game-changer which will improve the lives of consumers. If you're dissatisfied or if you believe that another um, service provider is, is, giving, is giving you an, an attractive offer, you, you can move to that and migrate to that service provider, and but you can retain your number because uh, you know it's it's it is we, we understand that uh, your telephone number is part of your identity. Anyone who has a telephone number may find this system extremely useful and efficient. For companies, they will have the option of changing addresses while maintaining the same contact information. It gives you the freedom of choice because you are seeking a better quality of service. I think we all can appreciate the benefits of our telephones, especially our, our mobile phones, especially during COVID. Um, and never before have we had to rely on our phones for work, play and otherwise as in, in those um, dark, uncomfortable days in 2020, 2021. And so if you are relying on your phone, you want to be able to have a, a, every, every consumer, the bottom line for every consumer is how do I save money? And how do I save money with, with the optimal um, services to me? And so that is what is beneficial. Since the liberalization of telecommunication in 2020, Britain said the sector has become more competitive. For this reason, the system is being tested and would be ready for implementation soon. Meanwhile, Nikita Samwaru, the Commission's engineer and overseer of the system, explained that there are challenges in moving to the implementation stage. These challenges are the technical difficulties with ensuring the configuration works. He explained that fixing technical errors and upgrading of the operator's software had to be done. Number portability would involve a lot of processes. For example, a consumer who wish to switch a network will go to the new network and request to be ported. Now there are steps in that process. You fill out forms, it has been acknowledged. The, the new operator will send that information to the, your old operator, for which that old operator, which we call the donor operator, will communicate with you via a text message to, 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 to indicate whether you would like to have your number imported. These things are sent via something called SMS, short message signal. You now will do a confirmation, and within 24 hours of that, your number is being ported for the mobile telephone numbers. Now, whereas for the fixed line, which we call a landline, it's within five days. The same process happened, but in this case, it's not an SMS message we'll be sending to you. It's called an IVR, interactive voice response. There's a machine will call you to confirm that you would like to have your fixed line or your landline to be ported. Britain, however, cautions that while the durations are implied, this system is still in the process of negotiations and the Commission will indicate the official steps when it is implemented. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.